Do you realize it's actually possible to hypnotize anyone with just your eyes without actually saying any language patterns or even understanding hypnosis? Hi, my name's Scott Jansen. I want to reveal a very simple secret for you of how to hypnotize people with just your eyes. And this is going to be very, very quick. When it comes to eye contact, being mammals that we are, we generally use eye contact to either get somebody's attention or we do it to show that we're listening or we do it as a way to meet someone that we really want to engage with. So what we need to do with our eye contact as a hypnotherapist is utilize it to our advantage. As a hypnotist, we can use language patterns, we can use techniques, we can use methods to put someone into a hypnotic trance. But as a hypnotist, actually adding eye contact actually speeds up our results. So how do we do this? Well, it's very, very simple. As long as you can look and keep your attention on somebody, you're in the right place. Think about it like this. Has anyone ever stared at you before? Has anyone ever looked directly in your eyes and maybe either feel a sense of connection or you feel a sense of, oh, this doesn't feel quite right. I feel a little bit uncomfortable. What you need to realize is what's happening at that very moment. Is your mind wandering off to other things or is it so focused on what is occurring right in front of you with this person staring at you? Now, if you do this long enough, you build up something called psychological pressure. Now, what happens with this, to, uh, to give you the 101 of hypnosis, when we lower conscious thinking, we get trance. We get more unconscious activity, which we can call hypnotic trance, just for the sake and the analogy of this video. So, believe it or not, as we use our eyes, we start to build up this pressure, and the conscious mind starts to think, oh, what's happening here? I don't like this. This feels uncomfortable. This is too much for me. I'm going away. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And we put enough pressure on it and we lock on, if you will, and don't look away, that conscious mind would actually, if you would, leave the building. And we have a clear direction of the unconscious mind where we can start to do all the therapy or add suggestions or tell a story as hypnotists do. So even if you're not a hypnotist and you want to really gather somebody's attention, which is crucial as a hypnotist, that we need to gather attention for any technique to work, we can use our eye contact. So try for yourself. Next time you're speaking to somebody, look directly in their eyes, put a little friendly smile on your face. You don't want to be angry like you're going to fight them, but put a little friendly smile on your face, use your eye contact and notice how much more attention you get. Notice how they start to feel a connection with you and you might even feel that connection yourself. We as mammals enjoy this connection. We live to connect with other people. And using our eyes with that friendly smile is the simplest way to connect at an unconscious level. And you might even find that as you start to do this with people, people will really start to take notice of you. They'll start to listen to every word that you say. You might even find yourself getting some new best friends. Think about it for yourself. Have you ever met someone for the first time and you have such intimate chats and you've got the eye contact going on and you feel like you've known them your whole life? This is the unconscious connection that eye contact can create. So it's very, very simple to practice this. Just use eye contact more often. Notice as people, when we're not giving eye contact, you tend to have a conversation that doesn't feel quite right. It doesn't connect as much. So if you want to connect with people in a more loving and caring way with that smile on your face, use your eye contact, have fun with it, and notice that people actually start going to a bit of a conversational trance. They won't move a lot. They'll start to talk a little bit slower. It seems they start to calm down. It's a very simple thing if someone's feeling anxiety to do this very softly and you notice that their body starts to calm down. So that's just a little side note for you. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Again, my name is Scott Jansen. Hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.